John, then what's the role for Bernie Sanders going forward now on the Democratic side? Getting a lot of media attention, pushing his message, winning delegates where he can, and trying to basically go into the convention with uh, uh, the ability to leverage the party towards a more populist orientation and sort of keeping the pressure on her uh, ideologically uh, more than he is in terms of an actual threat to win the race. Susan, the math is very difficult. I was struck when, when Senator Sanders said, well, she may have gotten two million more votes, but they're mostly in the South. Isn't the argument of his campaign that he has such a message that will break through and that that's why he would do well as a president? Because even in precincts that revolution. have a yeah, Revolution turns yeah. out to be hard, be, yeah. but <laughs> more successful than any of us would have predicted yeah. six okay. months ago, to be, to be clear. I think you're right. The math is hard. It's hard to see how he gets the nomination. But you know what? Hillary Clinton needs Bernie Sanders on her side. Once he yeah. finally gets out of the race after the convention, she needs Bernie Sanders to make her case with energizing, especially younger voters, right. because he continues to crush her in that demographic and she needs them not only to support her but to care enough about her candidacy to come out and vote in November. And watch for Bernie Sanders in the next bit to sharpen his message against Donald Trump and not as much against Hillary Clinton because he's kind of looking down the road as La well. Last question to you, Rayhan. How much can the Democrats use what's happening in the Republican race right now in the general election against whoever the nominee oh, is? Oh, they can absolutely use it, particularly Hillary Clinton, to great effect. The trouble is that when you have a tremendous success, when you have a kind of catastrophic success, like Hillary Clinton might have in a race against Donald Trump, then the Democratic coalition becomes so big, so broad, so expansive, that you start having more civil wars within that mm -hmm. coalition. And the Bernie Sanders challenge represents the future. This party that that now seems unified against Trump is going to have a lot of fractiousness as it has in previous eras, and that's going to become uh, something that's going to be very, very interesting you to watch. I kind of prefer to be the Democrats right now. <laughs> oh, sure. But it's not a, but, but it's, a, it's an unsettled yes. uh, seat yes. at the moment. All right, we're going to have to end it there. We'll be back in a moment with a look at the fight over President Obama's Supreme Court nominee.